Stop. Really? Oh, come on. What? Get out of my house. <laughs> Newfoundland has always had a special place in my heart. It's where my boyfriend Jeff grew up and is also home to the most beautiful and most kind people I've ever encountered. It might be a province of Canada, but it's truly one of a kind. We had the opportunity to make the trip because Jeff's best friend John was getting married. Since Newfoundland is an island, you'll find unique culture and food that distinguishes it from the rest of Canada. They have a distinctive culinary style that my inner foodie was super excited to try out. So while I was here, I had Jeff and John take me around to try the local favorites. So I'm so excited to share with you all the Newfoundland classics that I had. So, so we're just gonna head over to John, his friend's house, who's getting married on Saturday. We're going to his house because we're gonna be watching a movie. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting any clips there. We might have Newfie food or we might just have pizza, so. Hey, um, may I place an order for delivery, please? So yes, we did start with pizza. Figured I'd ease my way into things but we did order something that I had never had before, which was a particular dipping sauce. It literally looks just like a pizza. Like it's round. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and then this is Donaire sauce here. I wasn't expecting the Donaire sauce to be white either. <laughs> I, for some reason I thought it was gonna be like tomato based. I don't know if this is a thing in the US. I have never heard of garlic fingers that comes in the shape of a circle. I've heard of breadsticks, I've heard of cheese sticks, but that's new to me. I mean, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. They're so good. And then Donaire, Donaire sauce, sauce is definitely not popular, at least in Florida. So wherever you're from, I don't know, garlic fingers. Fingers, donaire sauce. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you think of this. I don't think I like that. Really? Oh, come on. What? Get out of my nose. <laughs> that is bizarre. Really? Let me taste it. Make sure it's right. <laughs> you can do feel, if you want to come. You can feel. <laughs> it's you like it's strange to me. Oh shoot. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Is it bad? No, it's good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> and even though the Donaire sauce wasn't exactly my favorite, uh, the pizza was absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> We're hope for one. <laughs> cool. <Okay. laughs> The next day, we were done with easing into stuff and we wanted to jump into a full blown new feet breakfast. So, John suggested we go to a local joint called the Big R. Let's see, let's see what they got. So, I decided to do the most touristy thing and found the new feet breakfast on the menu and got that. What's what is uh, white or dark pudding? What's the difference? Uh, and what is it? <laughs> You're getting a new fee, so the Towton comes with it. Uh -huh. If you didn't want the Towton, you can have toast instead. I want the Towton yeah, too. Okay, yeah. you want, so you want the Towton yeah. and you want a side order? Yes, please. Some elements were familiar, like the fried eggs, baked beans, and white toast, but white pudding, <laughs> fried bologna, and Towtons was straight Newfoundland. What should I try first? I would go for like bologna and the eggs or something like that. Okay, okay let's yeah. try the bologna. Catch up on the bologna for Ketchup? sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> From there. Get me. There we go. Yeah. Alright. This reminds me of like a little kid eating hot dogs with ketchup. Fried bologna. 45% real meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Nice. Yeah, I actually. It tastes just like a hot dog. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like a hot dog with ketchup. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. This makes me a little nervous. Yeah, I would go for maybe some eggs or beans, something safer, maybe, because well, I don't. I want to try that. Okay. I know what eggs taste like. <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't know what that tastes like. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. Here, John, you try it. <laughs> it smells like feet. <laughs> <laughs> what does that taste like? It's not bad it's though, not right? Bad. It tastes like really, really seasoned mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it tastes oh, like. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Baked beans. Baked beans? Yeah. Homemade bread. Yeah. Oh, that's got to be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's so good. Yeah. It doesn't even taste like regular bread. It tastes like really fluffy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's really unique. 
I didn't think I was gonna be able to tell that it was different. That was gonna taste like toast. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is, what is the batter made out of? Do you guys know? Um, it's dough, isn't it? It's just dough. It's just yeah. dough with butter like, and. Yeah. If you buy a tempo like dough. Firm. Yeah, if you, if you buy a tempo dough and like put it in your fridge and don't use it, it'll like just explode. Like it'll just. <laughs> Like, one, day, one day I bought a bunch of town dough for our house, and I left, and we went home for the weekend. I came back, opened up the fridge, and like it enveloped my carton of milk. Like, <laughs> so this is molasses. This yeah. is what some people put on it. Oh, it does look good. Yeah. It's hard to explain the texture of it. It's like almost like a deep fried or something. Mm. Do you like molasses though? We're gonna find out. Oh, you don't know. It's very strong. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's pretty. Like I'm syrup. not a big. No. <laughs> I, uh, it's good, you know. Do you like molasses? No. <laughs> no, no. You smothered your. <laughs> yeah. You you definitely will want to go with the syrup. You know what this tastes like? Licorice. It tastes like teriyaki sauce. <laughs> Really? Oh, maybe they gave me teriyaki sauce. <laughs> let me see if it's normal. Here, let me try. It's, I swear, it tastes like teriyaki sauce. Here, let me try. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's just like it's different. It's, it's different. really different. It tastes like smoky. Yeah. I don't know. Like I can't remember what. No, it. that's right. Yeah. 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 But I, I see what you're saying though. If it was your first time tasting it, I yeah, can see sure. it. So um, purity makes candy. Like mine says candy, and <laughs> it tastes terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Old people like it, right? Yeah. <laughs> The next day we went to downtown St. John's. St. John's is the province's capital and largest city. It was an exceptionally gorgeous day outside, so I walked around the streets of downtown while Jeff was at the barbershop, and I just kicked it in the sun with my favorite thing to get, no matter what country I'm in. I also picked up some ginger cookies from Rocket Bakery before leaving downtown, and then we decided to hit up a Newfoundland fast food favorite. That is alliteration at its finest, um, which is called Mary Brown's. And Mary Brown's is like the Newfie version of Chick fil A. If Chick fil A and KFC had a baby, mm. it would be this. Oh, it's not so I ordered what would be the, their number one, right? Yeah. Their most famous sandwich. It's called a Big Mary. Should have asked for extra pickles. <laughs> oh, there's so there's mayo, lettuce, and fried chicken. The fried yeah. chicken looks really good. Yeah. The roll is really soft. Yeah. That's so good. It's good, hey. <laughs> That's one of the best chicken sandwiches mm. I've ever had. It's like a significantly better version of the McDonald's McChicken. Mm -hmm. Because it has like the mayo, lettuce, and the fried chicken, but the chicken is way better. Mm -hmm. That's like definitely one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. These are really good. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. No, normally you wouldn't eat those with taters, you'd have gravy. Or They're still really them. good. Yeah. They're good on their own. Good job, Mary Browns. Good job. And then I had one of those ginger cookies for dessert, and it was absolutely delicious. And then the next day was actually the day of the wedding. Okay guys, so today is the day of the wedding, the reason why we're in Newfoundland to begin with. So I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a dress that I got from Nordstrom. I got something that was a little bit oversized and loose, so I did size up in this so I'd feel more comfortable. It's like a knee-length dress. And I will show you what my shoes look like. So these are my shoes, having like a little bit of a Cinderella moment. And I also got these from Nordstrom. So I was super stoked about the dinner buffet at the wedding because John assured me it was going to be legit Jigs dinner, which is a classic Newfie dish. It's essentially a rendition of Thanksgiving food, but with a little twist. So it's traditionally turkey, stuffing, boiled potatoes, carrots, turnips, cabbage, salt meat, and a dinner roll. It's something that I've had and enjoyed many times, and it's just a good hearty meal that's delicious. And of course, there was some yummy desserts, but the highlight of the wedding was by far the poutine bar, which is french fries topped with gravy and cheese. And poutine is like more of a Canadian thing, but it's delicious nonetheless. Oh 
Okay, and definitely a highlight of this trip was that your girl became an honorary Newfoundlander because I was officially screeched in. So come out, come on, stand up. You can't sit down. You gotta come stand up for screeching. And getting screeched in is like a traditional, fun, ceremonial thing that Newfies do to make us non-Newfies feel welcome. So I had to eat raw bologna, put my foot in a bucket of cold Atlantic water, take a shot of screech rum, state an old Newfie saying, and kiss a dead cod. Yeah. You're gonna say, when I say he's your Newfoundlander, you gotta say, Dita is my old cock lying me a big jib drop. <laughs> And sadly, we were coming to the end of our trip, so on our last day before leaving, there was one place we couldn't leave Newfoundland without going to. And that was another local favorite, Chess's Fish and Chips. And look, there's little, these are scrunt like little people. Oh, little scrunchins, yeah. Tartar sauce is like the donair sauce. <laughs> but I yeah, like I don't like it. But, you know, some people, you like it, do you? I like tartar sauce. Oh, yeah. Sauce. And that's like the, the, the pork fat, which is <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man, that's that good. That'll go directly into your artery. You might want to eat it with. <laughs> You're supposed to eat it with. <laughs> I don't like that one. I'll eat it like, don't waste it. Precious pork fat. Are you serious? What's that? I don't like that. Okay, just stick with the cod tongue. It's actually so funny. Yeah. It's just so stuck on the plane. That was weird. What are you saying? I don't know if I was prepared for that. <laughs> That's incredible. That is weird. Like, oh my god. I don't know why I thought it was gonna. It looks like potatoes. Cod tongue. Yeah. So this is actual, cod actual tongue. tongue. Yeah. It's not like a joke. No, it's not a joke. That's not a joke. You can see the tongue. Like, this is the kind of the, the perforation of the tongue there. Um, <laughs> It tastes pretty good, yeah. but the texture is definitely different. Mm. It's like rubbery. Now try some pork for the pork fat. <laughs> okay, so the dressing is underneath there. Yeah, so do I eat the dressing with oh, the yeah. fries? Oh yeah, yes, yeah. Get the dressing out with the fries and then okay. Okay. you gotta kind of unveil. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oh. Sorry, I get so excited about that. This is, this oh. is Jeff's kind of food. Oh my God, is it ever. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh. I can taste it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> See, that's the look. Yeah. yeah. It's the best, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. See, we did it. Finally. All right, let's try the pot. Oh my god. I don't even know if there's any fish in there. Let's oh just yeah. Ride that. <laughs> there you go. It's gotta be this is good, eh? That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> hey. That's amazing. <laughs> Boom. There you go. And to be honest, Chess's was probably one of my favorite places of the trip. Just the atmosphere and hometown feel of it was just very newfie and authentic. And not to mention, they had bomb food. So we just got back from Chessa's Fish and Chips, and I want something sweet. And Purity is a company that is based out of St. John's, so it is a Newfoundland company, and these are cookies that are very popular here. I've actually had these already. I had these in Toronto because a good friend of mine, shout out to Kim if you're watching, actually brought me some of these to try, and they're really good, but I'm gonna have another one for you, and I've never had these. So, Jam Jam first. They're really good and they're very difficult to describe. They kind of remind me of Fig Newtons because they're soft and they have like some sort of jam, jam jam in it, <laughs> that I don't know what, what it is. It doesn't even say what it is. So I don't, it's just jam flavored. <laughs> the cookie is almost like a ginger cookie in a weird way, but it tastes like a Fig Newton, a really good Fig Newton. I don't know how to describe it, it's so good though. Mm, that's really good. I don't know if they sell these like anywhere else. <laughs> you gotta compare them. I've never had a TV. No? Not that I remember. John said they're like a trash jam jam. <laughs> I don't know how he described it, but these actually look really good to me. So these aren't as soft, they're more like a shortbread cookie. Mm. They're not as good. No. But they're good. Mm. They taste like a cherry shortbread cookie. Mm. I think they're supposed to be eaten with like tea. They're still really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
I had an absolute blast on my trip. The food was incredible, the weather was beautiful, and the people were as nice as ever. If the opportunity ever presents itself for you to visit Newfoundland, I'd highly recommend it. I'm going out way tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. No, it's so surreal. Think I want you here.